So Zach, 2020 is almost upon us, and there are happenings happening at Walt Disney World. Oh, really? There are. Wow. Uh, there are a couple new things that are coming out in 2020 that I think we're pretty excited for. Wow. Do you have a list maybe prepared that you'd I, like to share? I really do. I have about three things that I think we should talk about. Wow. Only three? That's pretty lame. Well, there are only three because a lot of things that are in the works right now aren't even coming out until 2021. Yeah. We went through a ton of stuff and uh, Disney's kind of taking a year off. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking it easy this year. Taking it easy. So, so. without any further ado, <laughs> here are the top three coming to Disney things in 2020. Here are the top three things coming to Walt Disney World in 2020. These are in no particular order, but my favorite is number one, Space 220. Ooh. The restaurant coming to Epcot that is space themed, if you didn't know. I'm pretty excited for this too. Yes. Because Shane and I are going in May. Yes. And I don't know if it'll be open in May. So here's the latest yeah. rumors. The latest rumors are February because there was a job posting listed that said it was opening in February. So okay. that's that whole rumor. I like that rumor because that means I should be able to get a reservation. Mm -hmm. for Space 220 and be among the first several thousand people. Yes, top top 20,000. <laughs> to probably. dine in space. Indeed. What is so, it, 220? Miles into the atmosphere or above the atmosphere, above the Earth. You're in a space station and it looks out into space. It's very cool. There is not, there's not been any mention yet of what the menu will be like, which is a little bit weird because we don't know if it's going to just be like standard food or international food or like space themed food we're not really sure about that yet but i have a feeling it will be very international and like really culinarily <sighs> i'm thinking like it's going to be like the international space station and they're going to just do like dishes from all over the world yeah yeah i'm sure they'll have glossy domes of stuff and it oh there's going to be so many like of those dome desserts that are glossy yeah. they they love doing those it'll it'll have very uh guaranteed satuli canteen esque otherworldly uh visuals i guess to get into the restaurant you go through a space elevator um and i'm just excited for the whole experience yeah future world really needs good dining during construction it has a temporary starbucks uh, it has an electric umbrella, but not for much longer. And then you have Sunshine Seasons and Garden Grill, which are both amazing, but they're both themed to the land, and we need other themes in the yeah, world. Yeah, for sure. And space is a good theme. I love the theme, and it's like sort of like a non-IP classic Epcot sort of thing, so yeah, all about that. So people can go eat at Space 220 and then get on Mission Space and throw it back up. Wow! The second thing that we're excited for coming in... 2020 to Walt Disney World is, I'm gonna get this right, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah! I said it right! Or as we like to call it, Mickey, 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 Mickey. I can't, every time I try and say it, it comes out Mickey, 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 Mickey. It's too many words. It is. It really is. It's gonna be modeled after like one of the newer animated shorts. Yes, and it's supposed to be 3D without 3D glasses. How? So. How they do that? Hopefully, here's what I'm hoping it's not. Okay. <laughs> you know how in Navi River Journey they have the screen with the animals and stuff? I hope it's not that, because that does not look that good in Navi River Journey. Yeah. It Maybe on a larger like scale it would look better, but it I know, it's like here's just... a little window peeking in between the real yeah, you can... branches and it's a screen. It doesn't, I mean... it doesn't look good on the ride. So yeah. hopefully it's not that. But I wonder if they'll do, cause like in, in at Universal, in the Wizarding World, they do a lot of holographic people and it looks like they're standing there, but can they do that with cartoon? Yeah, like, um, okay, yeah, in the queue of Forbidden Journey, there's Dumbledore's office. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there there is one in Hagrid's. I don't know. But I don't it's know good if you for can do that with cartoon. I think it would work with cartoon, but it, well, maybe it would look good. I guess we'll just have to wait and find yes, out. Yes, I'm skeptical. I don't think it... 
it's good for a pre-show. I don't think it's going to hold up well if that's the whole ride, but... Yeah. And I'm a little concerned about the longevity of that ride, considering the animation style. Like, how long are they planning on doing this weird... I call it the ugly style because everybody's like gross looking, yeah. especially Gooby. Oh. It's kind of like a Ren and Stimpy almost. Yeah, it is. Yeah, hmm. yeah and, and I, I, there's no reason for Goofy to be gross. He's not gross. I know. Great Movie Ride literally was a timeless classic ride that could be there forever. How long can Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway? Mickey, 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 Mickey. How long can that realistically be in the most iconic spot in the park? I don't know, but I do really, really want to ride it, and I'm excited to see how they do it and what the story of the ride is. And um, you know, that's a good point, though. Um, it is like in the Chinese theater, which is such a, like a critical central location, so it kind of like has to be good. Like that has to be like an anchor ride yeah. for the whole park. It's, like the first thing you see. Yeah, and one might argue that. The theater itself should be the park's icon. You might say that. <laughs> you might check out a video that's somewhere, I don't know. So the opening date is, as of right now, March 4th. I can't see them pushing it back any further than they already yeah, have. Yeah, we're pretty close to that. I don't think they'll push it back anymore. Just like, make it ready. Give us a little nod to the great movie ride in there somewhere. Oh, there's going to be there's gonna be references, yeah. I'd be very surprised if there wasn't. Numero three o on our list that. of things we are most excited for at Disney World in 2020 is... Everything is a mouthful today. <laughs> Harmonious, the new show that may or may not come in 2020, we'll find out, but is slated as of recording to come out in 2020 to Epcot as the new nighttime show. So the current show, Epcot Forever, was meant to be a temporary show. It was only supposed to be there for about a year, I think they said. Yeah. So Illuminations ended, I think, September 30th, 2019, which would put Epcot Forever at around September 20th, 2020, ending to start the new show, Harmonious. Um, I haven't even seen Epcot Forever, and I'm kind of excited to see that. Uh, I've seen video of it, and it looks pretty cool. The kites are really the only thing I'd be super excited for. But, Harmonious? It's supposed to be a big upgrade. I uh, feel like it's going to be awesome. That's where they're putting all their money, so yeah. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. If they don't blow it. Anything's better than Illuminations. Ouch. I know. If you know the story of Illuminations and how it has the different acts and what they're supposed to mean, then it's cool. But if you don't, you're like, why is there a quiet part? <laughs> what is happening in this fireworks show? So, I don't know, but Harmonious, like the music of Disney and how it affects people around the world and brings everybody together, I have a feeling it's going to be very powerful. I and hope everybody's so. going to sing along. And I'm probably going to cry. I hope that it has some sort of central theme or story that weaves throughout it and isn't just like a clip show of Disney characters. That's my hope. Like Once Upon a Time? Similar similar to Once Upon a Time. Yeah. I'm interested to see how they'll make it at. different from that. Mm -hmm. So those are three of the most exciting things coming to Walt Disney World in 2020. We'll see you back here in a year for a much longer list. Yeah, it's probably going to be like seven to eight for things. For 2021. Wow. Because that's going to be an even better year. But 2020 is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. We both have trips planned. It's going to be awesome. I think so. I'm excited. And at least they're not getting rid of classics yet in 2020. So. Yet. <laughs> Spaceship Earth might go down, but... Oh, yeah. Top three things I'm not excited for in 2020. Oh, okay. Spaceship Earth go. going down for refurb. End of list. <laughs> Let us know what you're most excited for coming in 2020. I mean, we named like all the things. But Those are you, all the things. If you have some inside information. Pick your favorite and let us know. Let us know. <laughs> Woo! Good start! That's going to be fun footage. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What's born? Merry Christmas, everyone. Jesus Christ was born.